And we, this group of us, who were becoming socially conscious and becoming aware, were very much supportive mm -hmm. of them. And we were very welcomed by them. This is a group, you were part of a group of students that were supporting them? Uh, right, a group uh, of students. And it was uh, extremely um, important for us. And the movement just grew and developed. And we were able to actually call a student strike. Oh, nice. <laughs> and the night before, the strike committee was very busy getting the last minute stuff together. The banners, the, the slogans, the, the, the preparations, where were we were going to be, how were we going to work, and so on. And it was midnight, and the entire strike committee was arrested. Oh. We were all pulled into the Fillmore police station, mm -hmm. and the, this was around midnight. And the arresting officer brought us to the station, and the sergeant asked the arresting officers, why are they here? And the arresting officers said they were distributing literature. And the sergeant said, how do you spell literature? And that was kind of a, a watershed for me. Here we were, fighting for education, trying to advance and to continue the educational program. And here is this man a man of authority who didn't know how to spell literature, mm -hmm. had a tremendous impact on us. We were taken from there to the Audi home, which was on Ogden and Roosevelt Road. And I guess we were, few of us were the youngest prisoners. <laughs> and it was an indelible lesson right. from another direction. Because here I come in to an environment of young children being held in this tower with enormous doors, each room separated from the other by these doors, and everything is locked. You don't move. Everything, everybody's under lock and key. And the, they were truly children, eight years old, nine years old, seven years old, ten years old. I guess I was the oldest one there. Mm -hmm. And the most amazing thing was when I tried, they asked me, why are you here? And I tried to explain at first why I was there. We had, we tried to fight for education. I could not come across. And finally, I finally said to them, I stole a horse. <laughs> and that made some sense to them. <laughs> that makes sense.